Tulsa native, Catherine Dunn Heller was born to serve. Early on, her parents Francis Herndon and Harvey Augustus Heller Jr. instilled in her the responsibility each of us own as a citizen of this great land. Little did they know then the impact their little Catherine would play on the state of Oklahoma, the nation, and the world. Following high school, she attended the University of Oklahoma, where she majored in elementary education, was a member of Kappa Alpha Theta, and crowned Miss Wool of Oklahoma, Missouri, and Arkansas by Lieutenant Governor George Nye. On November 17, 1972, she married Francis Anthony Keating II in Tulsa's Trinity Episcopal Church. Together, they are the parents of Carrie, Kelly, and Chip. The Keating family has continued to grow with the addition of Ryan, Dan, and Brittany. Being mom-mom to her nine amazing grandchildren is the icing on the cake. Her first inaugural ball was in January 1995, only four months before the bombing of the Alfred P. Murrah Federal Building in downtown Oklahoma City. The eyes of the world were on Oklahoma like never before. While the governor was on site, the First Lady went to work orchestrating the internationally televised memorial prayer service to honor those lost and provide hope and support to the survivors. She co-chaired the July 4th flag raising ceremony and concert to celebrate the volunteer efforts. Her book, In Their Name, spent six weeks on the New York Times bestseller list and raised more than $1 million for Project Recovery, the long-term recovery fund for victims and their families. She was actively involved in raising an additional $7 million to ensure an education for each child who lost one or both parents, coordinated short and long-term recovery efforts through the governor's office, and raised funds for the Oklahoma City National Memorial. She assisted in honoring President Bill Clinton with a Reflection of Hope Award and a Thunder Jersey on the 15th anniversary of the bombing. Featured in print media and on television, the Oklahoma Standard became the blueprint for others in time of tragedy. Everyone wanted to hear our story. By her second inaugural ball, she had already launched the extensive restoration of the governor's mansion, inviting the citizens of Oklahoma to take part in furnishing and restoring the executive home to its grandeur. Created Septemberfest, the annual free festival on the mansion grounds to promote Oklahoma's history and heritage. Founded the Women's Leadership Society, chairing its inaugural Annie Oakley Society Luncheon. And honored Oklahoma's National Guard for their continued dedication and service. She swung a hammer as chairman of the nationwide Bridging the Centuries by Building Homes and Futures, traveled with the American Red Cross to Haiti following its devastating earthquake, and spent time with troops in war-torn Bosnia. With her family and friends, she celebrated the dedication of the long overdue State Capitol Dome. Recognized for her many achievements, this Oklahoma girl's most treasured honor is that of the relationships with colleagues and friends she has made along the way. Her mother, who she recognizes as her lifetime mentor and her best friend, inspiration, and torchbearer for 39 years. Kathy Keating is proud to be an Oklahoman. <laughs>